În Sumerta Padma Puran, Padma Purani, there are six chapters glorifying Sumerta Bhagavatam. And in next four sessions, in the evenings, we are going to discuss about those six chapters. And also, we will take some help from the writings of, uh, from the commentaries of, Srila uh, Prabhupada has not written a commentary on it, but there are uh, various places uh, we have taken some help from Srila Prabhupada's purpose and also the writings from the previous Acharyas. Использовать комментарии предыдущих Ачарьев, поскольку Шила Прабхупада не комментировал эти э, главы so, песни. Before I begin, I wish to offer my respectful obeisances to all the Vaishnavas here, and I wish to seek their blessings. Прежде чем начать, я хочу предложить э, свои почтительные поклоны всем Вашнавам, которые собрались здесь, и получить их благословение. You are certainly uh, very advanced in age and also in consciousness, so I wish to seek your blessings before I begin. Несомненно, вы все обладаете воздушным сознанием, и поэтому я очень хочу заручиться вашими благословениями. Мы можем начать. In this dark age of Kali, we are staying in this dark age of Kali and Bhakti is the only process for uh, getting free from the contaminations of this material world. And how is Bhakti achieved? Bhakti? Bhakti is achieved only in the holy association of pure devotees. Bhakti можно достичь только благодаря общению с чистыми преданными. And especially when one hears Krishna Katha from such devotees. И в особенности, если человек слушает Кришну Катху от таких преданных. Generally, when we meet advanced devotees whose life is Srimad Bhagavatam, then we should <coughs> go and inquire from them submissively. Если мы встречаем преданных, которые живут с от Бхагаватом, то мы должны очень жаждать их общения. Generally the situation is that whenever we get a chance to associate with some sadhus, we inquire from them about some material world, how are you, how, how, this very hot today, and this, uh, this person said that, this person said that. So majority of our inquiries are, um, are related to all, this, uh, all these things. Обычно наши желания направлены на материальный мир и мы сосредоточены на своих каких-то желаниях мы хотим сесть так или по-другому и нас это постоянно беспокоит one should approach a sadhu and with love and devotion one should discuss and inquire about the topics of Lord Krishna когда человек встречает садху он должен интересоваться Темами, and what is the best source of Krishna Katha? И какой же самый лучший источник Кришны Катхи? What should be inquiries about? О чем мы должны спрашивать? It should be about Shrimad Bhagavatam. Мы должны спрашивать о Shrimad Bhagavatam. Why Shrimad Bhagavatam? Почему Shrimad Bhagavatam? Because Shrimad Bhagavatam presents questions and answers related to the Lord's forms, his activities, his pastimes, and so many things. Потому что Shrimad Bhagavatam состоит из ответов и из вопросов и ответов на Тема о том, какова форма Кришны, каковы его деяния и игры. It was compiled by Veda Vyas, and it is the essence of all the Vedic literatures. Это совокупность всех ведических писаний, и она была составлена Веда Вьясом. Шримад Бхагаватам is so potent that it Бхагаватам так могущественен, that it captivated the heart of Shukadeva Goswami. Что он полностью захватил сердце Шукадева Госвами. Once uh, Veda Vyas, uh, he saw the situation, uh, he saw some of the symptoms, symptoms of the age of Kali and he thought to help these living entities, I, sh I will have to write books. Uh, <coughs> and 
and <coughs> so Veda Vyasa he divided uh, the one Veda into four. И Веда Вьяса разделил одну Веду на четыре части. Why do we need that projector? Почему нам нужен этот проектор? Мы сказали поставить. He's in. He's. There is nothing to project. Everybody should. He was asked to stay. No, there is nothing to project. Just project every. Let us go and sit in the assembly of Namisharan where Sutta Goswami and Shavanagadhi Rishis are discussing Bhagavatam. Let's meditate on that. Давайте медитировать на то, как Шудшкадев Госвами пришел в лес на Мушарани. Вот там не было проекта. Let's go and hear there. They they did not use any projector. Да, там не было никаких проекторов, поэтому. Шудшкадев Госвами used to speak, and Maharaj Parishit used to hear. Махарадж Парикшит слушал, а Шукадева Госвами и говорил. And in the minds of Maharaj Parikshit, the video was played. Whatever Шукадева Госвами was saying, all the entire the videos of past tense of the Lord was happening in his mind. И когда говорил, Шрива Шукадева Госвами в уме Махарадж Парикшита возникали лилы, то, о чем он говорил. So Veda Vyas he divided one Veda into four. Итак, Veda Vyas разделил Веды на четыре. And then he also compiled Puranas and Itihasas, the Mahabharata. Также он составил Пураны и Итихасы, в частности Махабхарату. Certainly, he had not written all these things to keep in his own library. He then he distributed it to different different rishis, different sages. He gave this Vedas to different sadhus. Он раздал эти веды самым разным садху, потому что Невозможно было их одному сохранить. Рига Веда was given to Pele Rishi. Рига Веда была дана Pele Rishi. Jaimini, Jaimini, he became the professor for Atharva Veda, Sama Sama Veda. Jaimini стал как бы знатоком Сама Веда. Вашампайан took the responsibility of Yajur Veda. Вашампайан стал знатоком and Samantha Muni, he took the responsibility of Atharva Veda. Samantha Muni. Samantha стал знатоком Атхарва Веды. And Romaharshan, the father of Sutta Goswami, he was interested with Mahabharata and Puranas. И Romaharshan, отец Шукадева Госвами, отец кого? Romaharshan. Romaharshan, father of Sutta Goswami. Отец Сута Госвами, он стал знатоком Итихаса и Пурана. So when Veda Vyas compiled Bhagavata under the directions of Narad Muni, he was looking for someone who is appropriate, who can preach this message of Bhagavata. Veda Vyas, когда встретил Нараду Муни, он стал думать, кто же смог бы проповедовать. He saw everywhere. He could not see anybody qualified for preaching Bhagavata. Он посмотрел повсюду и не мог найти никого, кто бы мог быть квалифицирован рассказывать Бхагавату. So Veda Vyas prayed to Krishna. Поэтому Веда Vyas стал молиться Кришне. And by his prayers, Shukadeva Goswami was born. И благодаря его молитвам родился Shukadeva Goswami. And when Shukadeva Goswami was born, he stayed inside the womb of his mother for 16 years. И перед тем, как явиться на свет, Shukadeva Goswami находился в утробе своей матери в течение 16 лет. Now, Shukadeva Goswami was not ordinary. His mother was not ordinary and neither his father was ordinary. Veda Vyas was an incarnation of the Supreme Lord. And Shukadeva Goswami was an elevated soul. So, naturally the mother also was a great soul. Shukadeva Goswami was not a person. He was a personal person. His father was an incarnation of Krishna. And, therefore, his mother was not a personal person. She was not a personal person. So, Veda Vyas was requesting Shukadev Goswami, Shukadev, please come outside. И Ясадев стал говорить, Шукадев, выходи, пожалуйста. And Shukadev used to reply from the womb, My dear father, Lord, this Maya of the material world, Maya is very powerful, I don't want to get into it. I am very happy staying in the womb. И Шукадев Госвами сказал, Нет, отец, я не могу выйти, потому что Maya очень сильна, и она захватит меня, если я выйду. Whatever you want, whatever you want to talk, let's talk from here only. 
Если что-то хочешь сказать, то давай от, оттуда мне говори, я буду слушать. Then he said, but I have, I have called you, I, was, I have prayed for you so that you can preach. Я прошу тебя выйти, чтобы ты мог проповедовать. He said, this is the best preaching, I can be in my womb, I will of the mother. Он сказал, это будет наилучшая проповедь, если я останусь в утробе матери. Then, uh, then Vedavyas went to Dwarka and called Krishna. И тогда Vedavyas пошел в Дварку и позвал Кришну. And uh, Krishna came and told Shukadev Goswami, My dear Shukadev, come out, no worry, don't worry of my Maya. Тогда Кришна пришел и сказал Shukadev Goswami, ты можешь выходить, Maya никогда тебя не коснется. You will be always protected. Ты всегда будешь под защитой. So Shukadev Goswami came out from the womb of his mother and started walking straight to the forest. And the Vedavya said, what's going on? Vedavya was running behind him. He was a grahastha, he was an old person. So he immediately took up his shawl and everything and he started running. And Shukdev Goswami was running and he was fo- Vedavya was following him. И Шукадев Госвами убежал и за ним шел э, Ведовьяса. Шукадев, Шукадев! Шукадева, Шукадева! And there was no response. И не было никакого ответа. So Ведовьяс did a trick. И поэтому Ведовьяса пошел на хитрость. He said, Shuk, he said Shukadev Госвами is not going, cannot, will not come back easily. Он знал, что Шукадев Госвами так просто не вернется. He devised a plan. У него созрел план. He sent two of his disciples. Он позвал своих учеников in the forest. В лес. With singing two verses from Bhagavatam. И дал им два стиха из Шримад Бхагаватам. Аго вакием станакала котам жиган сапая ядат писадави леве гатин дхатра учитам татоням камва даялам шаранам вражем. So this verse glorifies Putna, uh, glorifies Krishna's delivering Putna. Этот стих прославляет Кришну, который освободил Путану. So in this verse, uh, it is said that that Krishna gave the position of a mother to Putana. В этом стихе говорится, что Кришна даровал положение матери Путане. That Putana which killed, came to kill him, kill him. Хотя Путана пришла, чтобы убить его. Who will be as merciful as that? Кто же такой этот Кришна? If someone comes in your house with a gun and says, I will shoot you. Mm. Если кто-то приходит uh, к нам с ружьем и говорит, я тебя застрелю. With big gun, somebody enters your house and he threatens you. Наш дом и угрожает нам. So after everything is settled, will you give him a chance to stay in your house? But... Разве дадите вы ему шанс оставаться в своем доме? No. Yeah. Mm. But Krishna gave Putana a position of a mother in spiritual, in spiritual world. Но Кришна даровал положение матери Путани в духовном мире. So when Shukadeva Goswami heard that, когда Шукадева Госвами услышал об этом, then he, he got very attracted. Он очень привлекся этим. Then he heard one more shlok, one more verse. И он сказал еще одно. Барха пидам натавара вапу каранайо карани карам вибрат васаха канага капешам вайжанти чамалам рандрар вену радхара содая пурайан гопа вриндайр вринда раннян свапада раманам правишат гита герти. So Шукадева Госвами heard about a boy, Krishna, who is wearing a peacock feather as an ornament upon his head. Шукадева Госвами услышал о Кришне, у которого была гирлянда и павлине перо на голове. He heard about how Krishna wears a blue karnika flower on his ears and how Krishna wears an yellow garment. Он услышал о том, что у Кришны желтые одежды и He wears a blue, blue karnika flower, blue flower. And how he wears a yellow garment. Yellow, Krishna wears yellow dhoti. Yellow dhoti. Hmm? Hmm. So, Shukadeva Goswami also heard How, when Krishna dances, when he enters Vrindavan forest, how he dances, and even that 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 dance of his hmm, even disturbs Lord Shiva, who is the best of the dancers. И он также услышал о о том, как танцевал Кришна, что его 
танец, он произвел впечатление на Господа Шиву, который... And how Vrindavan is, and how Vrindavan is decorated with uh, the footprints of Lord Shri Krishna. И как Вриндаван окружен с этими, как сказать, окружен следами от стоп Кришны. How Vrindavan is decorated with the, украшен, with the footprints of Lord Krishna. Следами Господа Кришны. Hmm. Why is Vrindavan very special? Почему Вриндаван очень особенный? Because that whole of Vrindavan is smeared with the dust. Uh, the dust there is smeared with the lotus feet of Lord Shri Krishna. Потому что весь Вриндаван посыпан пылью со стоп Господа Кришны. In whichever place in uh, Brajmandal is called Brajmandal because Krishna and his cowherd boys had wandered around that place. Hmm? And uh, that is why that whole place is called as Brajmandal. Вся эта область называется Браджамандала, потому что Кришна там ходит вместе со своими друзьями по сушкам. So Shukadeva Goswami, when he heard these things, когда Шукадева Госвами услышал об этих вещах, then he decided to come back. Он решил вернуться обратно. To his father. Своему отцу. And he said, "Oh my dear father, what is?" Он сказал, "Мой дорогой отец, I want to more, I want to hear more about this." This, this verses. Я хочу больше узнать об этих стихах. Ведовья said, sit down. Ведовья сказал ему, садись. Mm -hmm. Sit down and hear, there are 18,000 verses to be spoken, so be peaceful. Садись и слушай дальше. So Shukadeva Goswami has confirmed this fact in Shumadha Bhagavatam that he had heard, he had heard Shumadha Bhagavatam from Ведовья. И Шукадева Госвами дальше продолжал слушать от своего отца Ведовья. Verse number 218. Second canto, first chapter, eight verse. Idam Bhagavatam Nama Puranam Brahma Samitam Aditavan Dwaparada Pitru Dwaipayanad Ayam. I studied this great literature, Shmada Bhagavatam, from my dear father Vedavyas. Я услышал это великое произведение своего отца Vedavyasa. So Shukadeva Goswami was known as Aranyapriya. Because he liked he liked forest very much. But when he spoke this Shrimad Bhagavatam to Maharaj Parishit, he became Vishnu Janapriya. Vishnu Janapriya means he became very very dear to the devotees. So Vaishnavas uh, Vaishnavas can actually enter the pastimes of the Lord with the help of Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam, this book, is not an ordinary book. This is the book incarnation of Lord Krishna. And it is not a mundane literature. Это не мирская литература. It is a transcendental literature. Это трансцендентная литература. And it has appeared in this age of Kali to help us develop relationship with Krishna. И она явилась в этот век Кали для того, чтобы мы могли развить отношения с Шри Кришной. So you can enter Vrindavan Dham by taking shelter of Shrimad Bhagavatam. То есть вы можете войти во Вриндаван Дхаму при помощи Шримад Бхагаватам. Shrimad Bhagavatam is the life and soul of the Vaishnavas. Shrimad Bhagavatam is the life and soul of the Vaishnavas. Especially Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Especially Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu called it as spotless Puran. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu called it as spotless Puran. Amal Puran. Amal Puran. And he would himself hear this Puran from Gadadhar Pandit at Narendra Sarovar. And he himself heard this Puran. Narendra Sarovar. Narendra Sarovar. In Jagannath Puri. Jagannath Puri. In Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu. Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu. Rupa Goswami list hearing Shrimad Bhagavatam as as the more one of the important activities. Shri Rupa Goswami перечисляет изучение Шримад Бхагаватам как одну из самых важнейших анг ну деятельности в этом служении. Our Śrīla Prabhupāda, he took this Śrīmata Bhāgavatam and he went to West. 
наш сел Паупада взял Шримад Бхагаватам и повез на запад. And what did he do going to the west? И что он делал на западе? Did he speak on Ayurveda? Разве он рассказывал о Юрведу? Did he speak on yoga? Он рассказывал о йоге? Did he speak on any other subject matter? Он рассказывал о каком-то другом предмете? Yes, the, the, the people there were completely new. New people, they are new. They don't know anything about Krishna. They, they don't know anything about Lord Ramchandra. They don't know anything about uh, what is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what is the Sangirtan movement. They didn't know anything. И приходили люди совершенно новые люди, они ничего не знали о движении Санкиртана, о Ситане Махапрабху, о движении сознания Кришны. But what did he do? Но что он делал? He went to the west with this weapon of Shrimad Bhagavatam. Он, что он делал? Он поехал на запад с этим оружием Шримад Бхагаватам. And he spoke from it. И он говорил, because he had, unfl- because he had unflinching faith that <coughs> Simply by broadcasting the glories of Lord Krishna's name, fame, the conditioned souls would become attracted. Lord Krishna's name, fame, activities are so powerful that, uh, that anybody who hears them will get attracted and fell in love with Krishna. But we are, why we are not falling in love with Krishna? Because we are not hearing about Krishna's activities, forms, pastimes. Hmm? Hmm? There, is no in, there is no intense hankering to know about uh, Krishna's activities. So that's why we are not falling in love with Krishna. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur He said that if all the books in the world are destroyed and only this Srimad Bhagavatam for example, let's say something went, something goes wrong and the, all the world in all the libraries and all the world uh, throughout the world get destroyed all the books are destroyed and only, and only Srimad Bhagavatam is left nothing is lost Srimad okay. Bhagavatam is the matured fruit of the Vedic tree. And simply by hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, one will be able to fulfill all their desires. So I want that this was an introduction to our program. So I want that let us, all of us, Go and join uh, the Rishis in Naimi Sharanya. Я приглашаю всех нас в путешествие вместе с Ришами в Наими Шаране. There were 88,000 Rishis. They were performing. They were performing a big yagya, big sacrifice for world peace. Для блага всего мира 88 тысяч мудрецов совершали yagya. This agenda for world peace. Uh, Mm-hmm. Is not a, or even this rishis also they were, they were performing this sacrifice so that there is peace in all over the world. But when they are performing the yagya, the smoke coming out of that it was disturbing them. Ha 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 ha! They were all in very big trouble. No, when they were not performing this sacrifice, the fire was coming up. And that's why. Uh, when when they saw Sutta Goswami coming there, immediately they took the buckets of water and and closed the sacrifice. They put all the water in that sacrifice and they closed the sacrifice. Sutta Goswami. They stopped the yagya and they took shelter of Sutta Goswami. So there were 88,000 rishis there. 88,000 sages. And they, appoint, and they appointed one person to ask question on their behalf. They appointed Shaunak Rishi. So our, our Bhagavatam also begins with Suta, Suta, Suta Goswami and Shaunak Rishi's conversation. 
The first chapter of Bhagavatam is questions by the sages. It is these sages who are asking questions to Sutta Goswami. So, <coughs> once uh, Sutta Goswami, once this rishi, this rishi is uh, put three questions to Sutta Goswami. He uh, they, they asked that, uh, how do Vaishnavas uh, get relief from this Maya? We are devotees, we are practicing Krishna consciousness, but still we are attracted towards to your material world. We still want to enjoy the material world. We are still attached to so many desires for sense gratification. So here, here Shonagadi Rishis are asking, how can Vaishnavas become free from Maya? That means they understood that there will be devotees, but they, are, they will find it difficult to overcome Maya. Then they are saying that in Kaliuga, oh, our dear spiritual master in Kaliuga, the general population is be, will, be, will be very demonic. So please explain a way by which this, this people, this, uh, this people in the age of Kali will be become free from all the kinds of troubles of mind. Поэтому, пожалуйста, дай нам путь, благодаря которому э, человечество сможет освободиться от всех проблем, связанных с умом. Please explain that sadhana by which one can easily attain Krishna in the age of Kali. Пожалуйста, дай нам садану, благодаря которой мы очень легко сможем достичь Кришны в этот век Кали. Mm -hmm. So, they are saying that, oh, Sutta Goswami, you are like a touchstone. Они сказали, о, Сута Госвами, ты... Mm. But, the, but you are a transcendental touchstone. No, no, ordinary touchstone <coughs> is that <coughs> ordinary touchstone, if, if you bring in contact with any object, it will turn into a, it will make that object as gold. And Kalpariksha trees are like that. If there are some Kalpariksha trees who are desire fulfilling trees, if you sit under that tree and if you want to have, want something, hmm, then immediately that desire will be fulfilled. No, Kalpariksha are like trees, which, if they want something, they immediately fulfill that desire. But the spiritual master, who is who is uh, is a representative of Lord Krishna. By his mercy, one can attain the spiritual world. Hmm. So that's why it is very important that we should take shelter of such Bhagavatas. Here, the remedy for eliminating all the inauspicious things in our life is the taking shelter of the personality, person Bhagavata. Or book Bhagavata. So we have to take shelter of either both, uh, both of them or either one of them. But, but we cannot understand book Bhagavat. Uh, we cannot understand the book Bhagavat without coming in association with uh, the Bhakta Bhagavata. Now what is the quality of this Bhakta Bhagavat? Bhakta Bhagavat live their lead live their life which has been presented in the book Bhagavat. Bhakta Bhagavata живет свою жизнь так как описано в книге Бхагавата. And that's why uh, they are examples, personal, living examples of the personalities mentioned in Shumata Bhagavatam. Mm. 
So if one wants to attain Lord Sri Krishna, then one has to seek shelter of this book Bhagavata, uh, Grantha, Bhag, Parasana Bhagavata. And in this, in their association, we will develop a faith. What kind of faith? That this, this Bhagavatam is not different from Krishna. И благодаря такому общению мы обретаем веру. Какую веру? Веру, что эта книга не отлична от самого Шри Кришны. It's very, the Bhagavatam will reveal itself to you only when you have unflinching faith that this Bhagavatam is non different from Krishna. Bhagavatam по-настоящему явит себя нам только в том случае, если мы будем верить, что книга Bhagavatam не отлична. When you develop that unflinching faith, then all these personalities in the Bhagavatam like Pandavas, Prahlad Maharaj, Dhruva Maharaj and all of them will become life to you. You can, you can associate with them. So it is very important that we have unflinching faith in Srimad Bhagavatam. And one can have unflinching faith in the Bhagavatam if one's doubts are cleared. That's why when you get a chance to associate with sadhus, you should inquire from them and get your doubts cleared. Because only when the doubts are cleared, we will develop unflinching faith in Krishna, unflinching faith in the sadhus, unflinching faith in Shrimad Bhagavatam. So Shukadeva Goswami was speaking the Srimad Bhagavatam to Maharaj Parikshit. And at that time demigods came there with a pot of nectar. And demigods said to Shukadeva Goswami, Oh dear Shukadeva Goswami, uh, this is a pot of nectar. So we have, we have heard that Parikshit Maharaj got a curse to die in seven days. So this, the demigods, they offered to Shukadeva Goswami that Shukadeva Goswami allow Maharaj Parikshit to drink this pot of nectar. Hmm? By which he will become hmm, immortal. Hmm. And then in exchange of that, exchange offer, please give us a chance to hear Srimad Bhagavatam. And Shukadeva Goswami started laughing. Hmm. He said that you, you have no qualification to hear Srimad Bhagavatam. Get lost. He kicked him out from that assembly. Kicked the demigods out from the... Hmm? <coughs> That's why, hmm, even for the Shrimad, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam is even durlab. Hmm? Even very rare for even for the demigods. It is only available here. In this earth. Once uh, Maharaj Parikshit. <coughs> he went on hunting. And <coughs> while on hunting, he became very thirsty and hungry. And that's why he, uh, because he was thirsty, he was hungry, he went to a, a ashram of a Rishi, Shamik Rishi. Shamik Rishi. <coughs> and <coughs> and Maharaj Parashi thought that somebody will give me some food and some water and that is enough for me, that will be enough for me. But there was nobody who came to welcome Parikshit. Imagine you get a news that 
Mr. President, Putin is going to come to our center. Представьте, президент Путин пришел к нам в центр. So what will be our reaction? Will we just sit and chant Hare Krishna? Or что are... будем делать? Сидеть и воспевать Hare Krishna? Hmm? Или... The king is coming to our house, to our center, and we'll make lots of arrangements for his welcome. Uh, пришел царь, и, и нет никого, кто бы мог его встретить. Hmm? Очень странная ситуация. Here, emperor of the whole world, Maharaj Parikshit was at the door of that Shami Krishi, and he was sitting. He was sitting in meditation in trance. И пришел. Махараджа Парикшит и Шами Кариши сидел в трансе и медитировал. So Maharaj Parikshit got very upset because he was thirsty, he was hungry. So he went and picked up the dead snake and, and he garlanded that Rishi, that says Shami Krishi with that dead snake. He put him on his neck. И Махараджа Парикшит очень расстроился, взял мертвую змею и обмотал ее как гирлянду на Шами, на Шами Кариши. Mm. And Maharaj Parikshit left from that place. His Shami Krishi's son Shringi heard about this incident. And he became very red with anger. He was just seven years old boy. But he became angry. He had some powers because of his father's blessings. Hmm? So he had some power and he started saying, Rascal Parikshit, how dare you do this? He said, after Lord Krishna had departed, after Pandavas had departed, what do you think of yourself that you can do anything you want? Hmm? You are like a dog and you should be standing outside the house, but you want to come and come and eat with the master? Kshatriyas are meant for the protection of Brahmanas. And dogs are also there for the protection of the, of the master. Dogs. Dogs are also dogs are also meant for the protection of the master. But their place, the dog's place is outside the house. So here Shringi is comparing Maharaj Parishit with a with a dog. And he's saying that you want to come and eat in the with with the master? We are Brahmanas and you are just a king. And you want to come and eat with us? And then he said, I curse you because you have because you have committed this heinous act. I curse you that on the seventh day from now, snake bird Takshak will come and kill you. И поэтому я проклинаю тебя из-за того, что ты сделал так, придет змей Такшака и укусит тебя, и ты умрешь в течение семи дней. And that boy, after he uttered the curse, he started crying. <laughs> and he went to his father. И Шринги, произнеся это проклятие, заплакал и побежал к своему отцу. He went to his father and his father was still in meditation. Он пришел к отцу, а отец все еще находился в медитации. And if he immediately went and he fell at the lap of his father. Он кинулся, он пришел и кинулся на колени к своему отцу. Even if you are in samadhi, you will have to come out because if your if your own child is crying in your lap, you have to come out from samadhi. И вам по любому придется выйти из самадхи, если вдруг ваш сын прибегает и кидается вам на колени. When you're chanting very nicely, but you're you're when you're kids, when they say. Papa, then you have to pick them up and give your time to them. I have two kids, so I have experienced this. And my problem with me is even my one my daughter says, please pick me up. So my son also comes and says, please pick me up also. So on right hand and left hand, both have kids, 
and then I sing a song, Sansara Dava, Lalita Loka. So, <coughs> so Shamigrishi came out from his uh, Shamigrishi came out from his consciousness, from his meditation. He said, what happened, my lal? What happened? Hmm? And he told everything. I cursed Maharaj Parikshit. <laughs> he said, what did you do? You cursed Maharaj Parikshit? Are you okay? Do you think Maharaj Parikshit is an ordinary person? Do you think he is an ordinary king? Are at the time of his birth, Lord Krishna entered the womb of his mother and protected him from the Sudarshana with the, with the help of the Sudarshan. Are he was the greatest of all the devotees? He has qualities of uh, he has qualities of all the great personalities in the universe. He, he, all the qualities combined together, they were all in Maharaj Parikshit. There can be no king like Maharaj Parikshit. And you cursed him to die? Oh my God, what has happened? And he said that, do you know what is going to happen, Sringi? If there is no proper king, all everywhere that there will be thieves and the and the woman they will be troubled, the children will be troubled, and for all this we will be responsible. Никогда больше не будет такого царя, как Махараджа Парикшит, и дети и женщины все будут в беспокойстве, но потеряют защиту, и все это по нашей вине. Immediately Shami Krishihi requested one of his disciples, Gaurmukh, go and inform Maharaj Parishit that he has only seven days with him. And Maharaj Parishit, while he was on his way back to his kingdom, he was praying. Hmm? He realized, he realized that I think, I think he has committed a mistake by garlanding that uh, Rishi with a snake. Hmm? So Parikshit prayed to Krishna. Parikshit started praying to Krishna. Oh my dear Lord, I have committed an offense. I think because of my position that I am I am a king, I have committed this offense against the Brahmana, against the Vaishnava. Please, please, Krishna, please arrange that. Hmm? I should get the punishment for this heinous act now. Krishna, Krishna, please. If we commit an offense against Vaishnava, this will be our mood. Because if, if, we, if we perform atonement for that, then we will be free from that offenses to the feet of the Vaishnavas. Otherwise, we will have to suffer birth after birth for committing an offense at the lotus foot of the Vaishnavas. Mm. And <coughs> Maharaj Parishit was praying in this way and disciple of Shambhik Rishi came there. He said, Oh Maharaj, O oh Emperor of the whole world, I have a sad message for you. My spiritual master has offered his all his best wishes to you and we want to inform you with regret that you have only seven days with you. Now please make arrangement to perfect your life. Uh, yeah. Please 
Mm-hmm. Ask a question to ourselves. We should ask these questions to ourselves. If we come to know that we have only seven days with us, what will we do? Мы должны задавать себе вопрос, если у нас осталось бы семь дней, что мы бы стали делать, если бы у нас оставался бы семь дней? Mm-hmm. So I asked this question somewhere and they said, I will take out the world map and I will go to those places where I can go and see the see see the see the beauty of the world. Многие люди начинают думать, что я составлю карту и начну путешествовать по тем местам, которые очень красивы здесь на земле. Some said what and some said what. Then I asked this question. So so many people said so many things. Многие люди по-разному отвечают на этот вопрос. В основном так отвечают, что не буду путешествовать. What did Maharaj Parikshit do? Но что делал Maharaj Parikshit? Maharaj Parikshit he took his crown and he gave it gave it up. He gave it he gave removed all the opulent dress of a king and he wore dhoti and uttariya and he started walking on the bank of Ganges. Но Maharaj Parikshit оставил свои царские одеяния, оставил свою корону одел простые одежды и пошел на берег Ганги. And when Maharaj Parikshit was walking on the bank of Ganges, this news spread everywhere. И когда Maharaj Parikshit пришел на берег Ганги, эта новость распространилась по всему миру. Imagine something goes wrong now in the, and the news spreads throughout the world in five minutes. Вы сами видите, что даже сейчас новости распространяются очень быстро, в течение пяти минут. So this technology was this technology we think is very very fast, right? Уже сейчас технологии позволяют распространяться очень быстро на Васита. When Maharaj Parishad got this curse, this, all the sages from all over the universe started coming on the bank of Ganges. Но когда Maharaj Parishad достиг берегов Ганги, мудрецы со всего мира стекаются туда. Thousands of sages started coming there. Тысячи мудрецов приходили туда. They all they all had an inquisitive a question in their heart: What is Krishna going to do now? Они приходили, очень у них горело желание, ну, у них был вопрос внутри, что же Кришна сейчас будет делать? Махараджи Парикшит, который постоянно Кришна защищал на протяжении всей жизни, начиная с его с утробы, жизни в утробе своей матери, Сейчас проклят и должен умереть в течение семи дней. Что же Кришна будет делать? They wanted to witness this transcendental and sweet pastime of Lord Krishna in the life of Maharaj Parikshit. Они видели, что сейчас произойдут трансцендентные игры Господа Кришны в жизни Махараджи Парикшит. So all of them, or including their, they took all their disciples and said, "Let's go. There is going to be a beautiful pastimes of Lord Krishna. Let's go and witness the life of Maharaj Parikshit." Они говорили. Давай идем скорее туда на берег Ганги, потому что сейчас Кришна явит свои лилы в жизни Махараджи Парикшита. And when uh, Maharaj Parikshit saw all these great sages, he welcomed them. И когда uh, Махараджи Парикшит увидел этих святых мудрецов, он их поприветствовал. And, and he said, <coughs> он сказал, he asked two questions to these rishis. Он задал два вопроса этим ришам. He said, what is, which is that activity one always has to perform? Какая деятельность должна быть у человека, которую каждый должен выполнять? Какая деятельность каждый должен выполнять? Especially the activity when one has only seven days left with him. Особенно ту деятельность, когда у него осталось всего семь дней в запасе. What should one do when one has only seven days left with him? Что мне делать, когда у меня осталось всего семь дней жизни? So they were all inquiring. Ista Gosti began. Они все стали спорить и group discussion group discussion began групповые начались обсуждения споры just at that time как раз в это время Вьясанандан Шукадева Госвами comes there on the scene пришел Вьясанандан Шукадева Госвами and seeing that 16 years old Шукадева Госвами all these great rishis they stood up with great they stood up with respect он пришел ему было всего 16 лет но все эти великие святые мудрецы встали чтобы поприветствовать Шукадеву Госвами. And everybody offered their obeisances to Shukadeva Goswami. Все предложили свои почтительные поклоны Шукадеву Госвами. Шукадеву Госвами ки! Жай! And Shukadeva Goswami and everybody said to Maharaj Parikshit, Parikshit, Lord Krishna has sent Shukadeva Goswami for you. Go and take shelter. Go and take his shelter. И все сказали Махараджи Парикшиту, Шукадеву Госвами пришел за тобой. Пожалуйста, прими прибежище у него. 
Maharaj Parishit goes and offers his dandavat to Shukadeva Goswami and put, put forward the same two questions to him. Akraja Parikshit bросил себя в дандавате перед Шукадевой Госвами и сел перед ним, готовый задавать вопрос. Шукадева Госвами says, Шукадева Госвами smiles at him. Шукадева Госвами улыбнулся ему. And says, answer for you is Шримад Бхагаватам. Ответом для тебя будет Шримад Бхагаватам. Sit here and seven days and seven night we will discuss Шримад Бхагаватам. Садись и семь дней и семь ночей мы будем обсуждать Шримад Бхагаватам. Close all the doors. Seven days and seven night we will discuss here Шримад Бхагаватам. Закрой все двери и семь дней и семь ночей мы будем обсуждать Шримад Бхагаватам. So Maharaj Parikshit, he, he heard the entire Шримад Бхагаватам from Шукадева Госвами. Таким образом, Махараджа Парикшит начал слушать Шримад Бхагаватам Шукадева Госвами. And then, <coughs> и затем, when he heard the entire Шримад Бхагаватам, he, his pure love for Krishna was manifested in his heart. И когда он услышал Шримад Бхагаватам, чистая любовь к Кришне стала проявляться в его сердце. And then he went, and after, after Бхагаватам was complete, he went to his spiritual master and folded his hand and said something. И После того, как Бхагаватам был закончен, он подошел со сложенной ладонями к своему духовному учителю. Анужани Химам Брамбан, Вачам Вашами Адоксаджи, Муктакама Шаям Чета, Правеша Висраджами Асун. Он сказал, My dear spiritual master, мой дорогой духовный учитель, By your mercy, my heart is completely cleansed, and I could see Krishna in my heart. По твоей милости мое сердце полностью очистилось, и я могу видеть Кришну в своем сердце. Now please allow me to fix my mind in the lotus feet of the Lord, and, I'll, and, and allow me to resign my speech and actions. Пожалуйста, очисти мои, э, мою речь и, и деяния, чтобы я мог полностью видеть Кришну. In other words, allow me to Пожалуйста, give up my body. Позволь мне очистить мое тело, другими словами. Remember, this Parikshit was cursed to die in seven days, right? From a bite of a snake bird. Помните, Махараджа Парикшит был проклят на то, чтобы умереть от укуса змеи. And now here is, now here is asking permission from his Guru Dev to give up his body on his own. Теперь он просит своего духовного учителя по своей воле оставить это тело, материальное тело. And Shukadeva Goswami said, Tatastu. Shukadeva Goswami сказал, Tatastu. And Maharaj Parikshit he sat in meditation, fixed his mind on the lotus feet of the Lord. He remembered all the past times which he heard from his spiritual master and he left his body. Before the snake bird Taksha could come, Maharaj Parikshit already attained the Supreme Lord's abode. This is glories of Srimad Bhagavatam. All of us, all every living entity, we are, we are destined to die within, in one of the seven days. We have seven days with us, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, right? And we are going to die in one of the seven days. Right? right? Mm -hmm. So we also have seven days with us. Mm -hmm. So you have to decide what you have to do in your life. So Shukadeva Goswami rejected this demigod, said you go away, you have not called no qualification to hear Shrimad Bhagavatam. What happens when one hears Srimad Bhagavatam? Shunvantam Swakatha Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana Radhay Anthastuhya Bhadrani Vidunoti Srotsatam Krishna he, sitting in his sitting in the heart of that devo devotee who hears Srimad Bhagavatam, he cleanses his heart. Кришна находится в сердце такого человека, который читает Шримад Бхагаватам и сам чистит его сердце. Whose heart Krishna will clean? Чье сердце чистит Кришна? One who has developed an urge to hear about Krishna. Тот, кто развивает сильное желание, жажду услышать о Кришне. One who has developed an urge to hear about Шримад Бхагаватам. Нужно развить эту жажду услышать о Кришне. One who is hankering for hearing, hearing Шримад Бхагаватам. У кого есть сильное желание? So what will Krishna do? He'll cleanse the heart of that person. Purify him. 
and make him a pure and alert devotee. So if one hears Srimad Bhagavatam by proper process, then then it will grant us pure devotional service. Если человек э, слышит Шримад Бхагаватам из правильного источника, то это дает ему чистое преданное служение. One can see Krishna in the pages of Bhagavatam if one has heard Shrimad Bhagavatam from a proper Vaishnava. Человек обретает смысл и суть Шримад Бхагаватам, когда он слышит его из правильного источника от Бхагавата. And this Shonagadi Rishis, they are requesting by putting forward these three questions, by they are requesting Sutta Goswami that you are the most qualified person. So here, Shonagadi Rishis are saying that we have faith that if we hear this message of Srimad Bhagavatam from you in rapt attention, Шона Кариши сказал, если мы слушаем Бхагаватам с непрерывным вниманием от такого человека, как ты, мы обязательно достигнем лотосных слов Господа Кришны. Некоторые преданные спрашивают, в чем приложение Шримад Бхагаватам? Как я могу в своей жизни применить Шримад Бхагаватам? Everywhere this is the question. I give them an example. If you become sick, you go to a doctor. And you said, my doctor, this is this is the problem with me. And doctor gives you medicine. He tells you, seven days, Morning, afternoon, evening, three times after after the food you should take these medicines. But you ask the doctor. Doctor, how will this medicine be applied in my life? Just take the medicines. And you will be cured. No, no, doctor, tell me, how should I apply? Нет, нет, доктор, как мне применить? Аре, баба, application is you eat the medicine after your after your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you'll be fine in seven days. Ты вылечишься в течение семи дней, если будешь после завтрака принимать это лекарство. So we take and we become fine. Надо принимать и тогда все будет в порядке. So application of Shrimad Bhagavatam is hearing. Поэтому приложение Shrimad Bhagavatam в нашей жизни это слушание. Simply by hearing Shrimad Bhagavatam we will perfect our lives. Просто слушая Shrimad Bhagavatam мы достигнем совершенства в нашей жизни. Because Krishna has promised. Потому что Кришна обещал. Shrimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krute Kimva Parerishvara Sadhya Vridaya Varudde Atra Krithibi Sushru Shubhistakshanat If one develops a desire to hear Shrimad Bhagavatam. Если человек развивает желание слушать Шримад Бхагаватам. Simply a desire to hear Shrimad Bhagavatam. Просто желание слушать Шримад Бхагаватам. By the culture of this knowledge, Lord Krishna is willing to get bound up by the devotee in the heart. Кришна связывается с желанием такого преданного в его сердце. What will happen when one hears Shrimad Bhagavatam? Что же произойдет, когда мы по-настоящему слышим Шримад Бхагаватам? Your heart will become Vrindavan. So this is what we are going to hear in next three sessions more. About glories, about glories of Shrimad Bhagavatam. Thank you for your patience. Thank you very much, Hare Krishna. Yes, yes, you will take questions. Whenever you are in Russia, you have to give half of the time for your questions. Come ahead. Don't sit behind. It looks like demigods are doing some Akashwani. Okay. Who speak in the mic? She asked who tell to Shringi that 
Mm-hmm. About the, the news. Da, about the news of uh, the snake. Yes, yes, I understood. Shringi's uh, friends were playing there. Shringi was playing with his friends on the bank of the river Kaushika. There was a river Kaushika which was uh, which was flowing near Shami Krishna's ashram. And the few all the young boys they were playing there. So one of the boys saw this whole incident. And then he came and informed Shringi. About that the dead snake still in his your father's uh, neck. Okay, what is your next question? Why do Shukadeva Goswami was chosen as speaker uh, uh, and not Vyasadeva, but Vyasadeva was older? What is the reason uh, Shukadeva Goswami was chosen as spoken? Because, Shuk- because uh, Vyasadeva is an incarnation of the Lord. And in the transcendental pastimes, it is uh, if you hear from the lips of the devotees, they are more nectarian. The Lord always wants that his devotees should that uh, the Lord always wants that that we should hear the his pastimes. Hmm? From his, from his devotees. Господу всегда нравится, когда люди слышат о Боге из уст его преданного. Because Krishna, uh, that's why Vedavyas was came and he wrote all the all the writings, all the past of Shrimad Bhagavatam. Поэтому Vedavyas записал все, ну записал Шримад Бхагаватам. He could have himself broadcasted, but he thought that. Somebody who has dedicated his life completely for pure devotional service should do that. Он посчитал, что тот, кто полностью посвятил свою жизнь чистому преданному служению, должен отвечать на эти вопросы. Narad Muni has chastised Vedavyas for compiling Mahabharat. Narad Muni отчитал Vedavyasу за то, что он составил Махабхарат. Because in Mahabharat there is big confusion. Потому что в Махабхарате очень много противоречий. The confusion is that. He has Vedavyas. He has simplified mm, the conclusions of the Vedas in Mahabharat. That is all right. Первое противоречие заключается в том, что Vedavyasa он упростил заключение священных писаний в Махабхарате. But but he has put Karma Yoga, Gyan Yoga, everything, and plus also Bhakti Yoga. Everything is Kichadi. Смешал там это все в Кичри, Бхакти Йогу, Gyan Йогу. Karma Yoga in Mahabharata. So for all classes of men, this Mahabharata is there. Все классы людей представлены в Махабхарате. People who don't have faith in Bhakti, they perform Karma Kand. So for them also Mahabharata is there. Люди у которых нет веры в Бхакти, но есть вера в Karma Kand, они исполняют какие-то ритуалы. So Narad Muni came and chastised Vedavyas. Narad Muni пришел и читал Vedavyas. He said, "You're a big fool." Он сказал, "Ты большой глупец." You wrote this such a, you compiled this such a big literature, but it's so confusing. Ты составил такое большое произведение, но оно только вводит людей в заблуждение. You compiled Veda, you compiled Vedas, Upanishads, so many Puranas. You cannot compile one literature which is full of pure devotional service. Ты составил Веды, Пураны, но не мог составить одного произведения полностью посвященному чистому преданию. One literature which talks completely about Krishna. Одного произведения, которое было бы полностью посвящено Кришне. One literature by which if devotees of the Lord when they take shelter of that literature they will be immediately delivered. You cannot write one book like one literature like this. Ты не мог составить одного произведения, которое посвящено преданным, которые полностью посвятили свою жизнь Кришне. Таким образом подали всем пример. He got heavily chastised. Он очень сильно его читал. So that's why he thought that people will people know that I was chastised by Narad Muni. So it is, doesn't look good that. I speak, so let somebody else should speak. 
Он сказал, что люди уже знают о том, что меня читал Нарада Муни, поэтому пусть лучше кто-то другой расскажет. So Narada Muni in his second verse, when he, write, when he wrote this Bhagavatam, in the second verse, he made very clear. Он во втором стихе Шимад Бхагаватам очень... Dharma Projita Kaita Vatra Paramo. Dharma Projita Kaita Vatra. All the Kaita Dharmas are rejected in this literature. He is telling to those people, if you are interested in Karma Kanda, Jnana Kanda, then please do not read further. Because this literature is only meant for Paramahamsas. And the Vaishnavas. So, he, 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 that's why he, and then in the third verse he is saying, that hear from whom? Nigama Kalpa Tarar Galitam Falam Shukha Mukha Dharma Samitam. Hear from whom those personalities whose life is like Shukdev Goswami, who are pure unalert devotees of the Lord, Paramahamsas, Mahabhagavatas, hear from them. Whose life is spotless, like this spotless Puran, Amal Puran. Hmm? Okay. Еще вопросы, да? Ну, давайте попробуем. Да. Thank you for the вы привели, где Кришна говорит, что он очищает сердце преданного. Как стать сатан, честным преданным? Тихо один вас. In the last verse that you uh, read, one point. Two point eighteen about Sunwan Shunwan Shrim Vatam Swatatam Krishna. How can we be one honest devotee? How can we how can we honest devotee? Satam devotee. How can we develop this quality? <coughs> you will have to uh, Associate with those people who have this quality. Only then it will come. And in Bhagavatam there are so many such so all the personalities mentioned in the Bhagavatam, they're all like that. Na dhanam, na janam, na sundarim kavitam vajagdisha kamai mama janmani janmanishware bhautat bhaktaraito gitui. They're all like that, Srimad Bhagavatam. So if you have to you have to take shelter of Bhagavatam every day, read every day. If you read it every day, if you read it every day, be peaceful, let me complete. If you ask a question, then allow me to complete it. So when when we when we hear, when we come in contact with Srimad Bhagavatam, we are coming in contact with this great personalities mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam. And when you read again and again and again and again and again, we hear about them again and again and again and again and again, yeah. then we are, act we are actually associating with them, right? Then we, will, then we will become like them. Mm -hmm. If you come in the association of Bhagavatam, you will become Bhagavat. Hmm? <laughs> we will become like we will become Bhagavat. I am not saying we will become a Mahabhagavat, but at least we will become a Bhagavat. По сравнению с тем, что вот вживую слушать, когда нет то прослушивание, насколько оно тоже благотворно? Или надо обязательно вживую общаться? Или вот прослушивание лекции это тоже, но больше меньше процентов на сознание влияет? What is the influence on our consciousness is, is listening of a live person, is it greater uh, than listening of lectures of past devotees and Maharajas? <coughs> what, 
what is more powerful to listen deep person yes i understood yes bro when we hear live classes like this когда мы слушаем уроки классы подобные этому when we hear classes in in the presence of the devotees когда мы слушаем в присутствии преданных классы then тогда the the sadhu he transfers krishna from his mind to the mind of the the mind of the hearers sadhu transliruet преданность в нашу мы because the shabda brahma he he is manifest shabda brahma is is uh, the transcendental sound vibrations they are uh, they are there in the presence when we they are in the bhagavatam so when we discuss bhagavatam that that enters everybody's heart звуковая вибрация трансцендентная вибрация шабда брама входит в наше сердце вместе с шримад бхагаватам который транслирует этот преданный but if there is no one но если никого нет around поблизости and if you hear the classes of our gurudev и вы слушаете лекции вашего гуру in the mp3 format и медитируйте на это слушайте внимательно that will also help us вы тоже достигаете цели in remembering the instructions of our spiritual master вспоминая наставления вашего духовного учителя so if there is no one around to speak if our gurudev is not around to speak so that does not mean that we shall not hear Mm. Если никого нет, то мы как бы не присутствуем, если mm. ни, ни гуру не слушаем, ни, ни преданный не слушаем. That that audio, that audio of also if we hear again and again and again, that will help us remember the instructions of the spiritual master. Поэтому аудио лекции нам позволяют вспоминать о наставлениях нашего духовного учителя. That will that will help us remember what our guru they want us to do. Это позволяет нам помнить, что же хочет от нас его гуру. Mm. So that will also help us. Это тоже нам помогает. But it can never. But if Guru Dev is in the town, then you should not sit in the home watching it on this. Но если Гуру приезжает к нам в город, то естественно мы не должны сидеть дома и слушать лекции там. Мы должны бежать на его лекции. That is association, personal association with the spiritual master can cannot anything cannot replace it. Личное общение с духовным учителем очень благоприятно. So when the spiritual master is around. we should give up all our activities and we should go and he sit and hear from him вы должны бросить всё и сесть перед своим духовным учителем и слушать как только он приезжает в ваш город отбрасывать all the activities in the world should be given up все ваши обязанности в миру надо бросить как только приезжает and we should go and sit in the, in under underneath our spiritual master сесть и слушать у лотоса собственного духовного учителя because till the time spiritual master is physically present one should take full advantage of his association потому что пока духовный учитель физически присутствует на этой планете нужно получить максимум выгоды от общения с ним this is the association which will help us mm-hmm. continue our life continue our preaching continue devotional service after the, after his disappearance потому что то самое вдохновение которое мы получим сейчас от его присутствия очень поможет нам после того, как он покинет этот мир. Шила Прабхупад met Bhakti Siddhant the six times only. Шила Прабхупад шесть раз всего лишь видел Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati. But that six times his his meeting six times with the spiritual master, he understood the mood and instructions of the spiritual master and then at the age of 70 he went to the west fulfilling the desire of his spiritual master. Но этих шести раз хватило для того, чтобы он исполнил приказ своего духовного учителя и полностью понял его умонастроение и действовал в течение 70 лет сумел исполнить его приказание nothing in the world can replace an association of a sadhu ничто в мире не может заменить нам общение с саду because he has captured krishna in his heart потому что он держит кришну в своём сердце and if you want krishna если мы хотим кришну we have to serve such personalities sincerely and honestly мы должны очень искренне служить этим преданным by making it making their instructions as our life and soul поступая так чтобы наши их наставления стали нашей жизнью и душой by offering by offering everything in our possession for in their service предлагая все что мы владеем для их служения им Can I give you? Can I give, do? Can I give an example from Bhakt, Bhakti Sadant and his recite story? Can I tell a story? We have time. У нас есть время, чтобы я рассказал историю Бхакти Сиданти Сарасвати, Пури, его ученика. Are you eager to hear? 
Вам интересно это услышать? Вы жаждете? Mm? Да, yes. Да, да. I know only two words, да и спасибо. So I learned these two words. Я знаю только два слова, да и спасибо. So, Бхакти Сиддан Сарасвадхакур had a grahastha disciple. У Бхакти Сиддан Сарасвадхакура был ученик грехаса. And they were very surrendered to him. И он был очень предан ему. So, Бхакти Сиддан was very affectionate. Бхакти Сиддан Сарасвадхакур был очень вдохновлен этим учеником. But, this uh, other disciples, they were very envious of him. All, all of that grahastha. Другие ученики его завидовали этому ученику грехаса. And they, <coughs> they were saying to Gurudev, О, oh, Гурудев, why are you so affectionate to this Grahastha? He, he is in Maya. Они стали говорить, он в Maya, почему, Гурудев, вы так восхищаетесь этим учеником Грихасты? He is in complete Maya, Гурудев. Он в полной Maya, Гурудев. But why are you favoring him always? Почему вы постоянно прославляете его? Бхакти Сиддан Сарасвадхи Шагура understood the mood. Бхакти Сиддан Сарасвадхи понял их умонастроение. He said, okay, go and call that Grahastha couple here. Он сказал, идите и позовите сюда этого ученика Грихаса. He told that Grahastha couple, okay, get, get stamp paper and I want you, you transfer all your properties to me. Everything should be transferred in my name. И он призвал эту чету супружескую Грихас и сказал, пожалуйста, отдайте мне все, что у вас есть для меня, для служения мне. Whatever your husband earns, should be given, husband you are giving to me. And whatever you want every day to buy vegetables, he told his wife, if you want some money for buying vegetables and everything, come to me and take it from me every day. Всегда приноси мне то, что есть у твоей жены. И он сказал жене, и мужу сказал, приноси то, что есть у твоего мужа вообще. So the, the Grahastha couple, they followed the instructions. Они стали следовать этому наставлению. They gave everything in writing to the spiritual master. Они стали все отдавать своему духовному учителю. And every day the wife used to come asking for money, for, for buying vegetables. И однажды этот ученик Грихастха, ему понадобились деньги на овощи для своего духовного учителя. And then he, then he was, then he allowed his And the other brahmacharya decides to have a look, this is surrenderness, this is surrender. И он показал этим ученикам, насколько преданы его ученики. You were doubting on this grass, the disciple saying he is in Maya, he is not in Maya, they are not attached to their material possessions. Он вообще не привязан к своей собственности. They are given, if they were attached, they couldn't have given it to me. Если бы они были привязаны, они бы не отдали мне ничего. Are you convinced now? Теперь вы убедились? They said yes, Gurudev. Они сказали да, Gurudev. Okay, call them again. Хорошо, позови их снова. Bring the stamp paper. And again, Bhakti Siddhanta Sri Thakur gave in writing and gave all the property back to the disciple. И он позвал этих учеников, приказ и отдал все, что они ему отдали обратно им. So this is we have to offer everything in our possessions to. To such a sadhu, and then if he is pleased by our service, then he will transfer Krishna from his mind to our mind. Поэтому если мы что-то отдаем садху и он становится доволен нами, то он начинает транслировать свое настроение преданности нам. Мы получаем это. Харе Кришна. Чего вопрос? Вау! Ну, questions? Нет вопросов? Ну, вот еще вопрос. Да, ну, давай спрашивай. He has question. What? Какой вопрос? Очень принято считать, что вот вы тоже упомянули, что на оплату там это урана, которая очищена пьяной кармой, да? Но если посмотреть, там же есть санхи йога, которую описывает Господь Катила в Девахуте. Или, допустим, Кришна рассказывает Усхаве тоже, ну, на Усхаве там есть карта. Как это объяснить? Зачем это нужно? How can we explain that in Bhagavatam there is санхи йога в Катила Дев, but Шима Бхагаватам из Амала Пурана there is no karma yoga and jnana yoga as you said. Why do these things exist in Shrimad Bhagavatam? 
Санки Йогова, которая дает там Удава и Левен Скэмптон. If you are not, by studying it, if you are not understood, then probably next time when we come, we will have this life and teachings of Kapil Dev here. But I, you cannot, don't expect to answer that in the, here in one, uh, because we will have to hold it and explain what is there in that Sankhya philosophy and how it is connected to Krishna, how it is connected to pure devotional service. We должны be able to study this topic, why Krishna рассказывает Sankhya in I have read it and uh, read it nicely with the help of Srila Prabhupada's purport and you will understand how he has explained every point. Uh, he has explained in a commentary Srila Prabhupada and for me why Because this this is a small sub this is not a small subject matter. Ex- explain what is Sankhya Yoga and why it is in uh, why it is in Bhagavatam. Почему она в Бхагаватам в трех словах не объяснишь? When Maharaj Parishad used, when Maharaj Parishad used to inquire from Shukdev Goswami about such questions, then the discussion used to be very very long. Потому что такие вопросы задавал Шукдеви Госвами Махараджа Парикшит и он на них отвечал. I have all the I have all the time in the world to continue sit here and continue. But я могу очень долго сидеть и продолжать рассказывать. Because my family is in Vrindavan, I have all the time in the world here. Моя семья во Вриндаване, я путешествую по семье. So we can speak day and night, no problem. Я могу каждый день рассказывать об этом. But you all have some, you all have some busy schedule, so... So read it nicely, Sankhya Yoga, that's understood. Read it nicely, three, four times, five times. Read it nicely with the purpose. Три, пять раз прочитай с комментариями Sankhya Yoga, Sathya Deva и Sanyash. And you'll understand. Uh, can I ask any other questions? Okay. About the fact. Да? Давай, хорошо. Вот ну, вы сказали, что на момент, когда uh, Шукадева Госвами перешел в собрание на берег Анги Махаражу Паришиту, ему было 16 лет. Но если посмотреть на тех мудрецов, которые приходили, uh, когда Кишма уходил, Шукадева Госвами там тоже был. Значит, ему должно быть больше, чем 16 лет. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is the uh, real age of Kadev Goswami? Because when he uh, came to the bank of the Ganges, uh, it is said that he is uh, 16 years old, but when Lord yeah. Vishmadev has yes, delivered... Yes. yes, he is not 16 years old actually. <laughs> but Krishna... No, Krishna. He is not 16 years old, right? He was, when he was on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, he was 125 years old. But how, how was he looking like? A 16 years old. So Shukadeva Goswami came from the spiritual world. He had a transcendental body. His color of the body was like Lord Krishna. Bluish black, bluish black color. Exactly like Krishna. And as per Mahabharata, we find evidence that Shukadeva Goswami, he has, a, a, he was there when Rajasuya sacrifice was performed. Rajasuya sacrifice. Then he was also there when Bhishma Pitama was glorified. When Bhishma Pitama was glorifying uh, about, about Lord Krishna and the battlefield of Kurukshetra lying on the bed of arrows, at that time Shukadeva Goswami also heard from Bhishma Dev. Then after he heard Shumata, then he also heard uh, the pastimes of Ajamil from Agast Sarishi, it is there in the sixth canto. Он также, что описывается в шестой песне, был на уходе Бишмаде Аджамилы. He heard the he heard the past tense of Ajamil. Он слышал from Аджамилы from August Sirishi. Вот так я Сирише. And then also we hear that after hearing Шимата Бхагаватам from his father Ведавес, 
И мы также знаем, что когда он услышал от своего отца Видавьясы, он также слышал Махабхарату от своего отца. Although his father was, his father compiled that Mahabharat, right? Его отец составил Махабхарату тоже. And Narad Muni also chastised him. И Narad Muni отчитал его. But still, this his father was so eager to promote his book. Тем не менее, его отец был очень. And he told Shukdev, just once, once, just once, hear from me and go and speak in the heavenly planet and speak this Mahabharat and come back. Тем не менее, его отец очень хотел рассказать. Ему Махабхарату, поэтому он сказал, иди на райские планеты и проповедуй там Махабхарату. So Shukdev Goswami went to heavenly planet, spoke the entire Mahabharat to them, and then he came and then he came and spoke Shrimad Bhagavatam to Maharaj Parishad in seven days. И Shukdev Goswami он съездил в турне на райские планеты, там рассказал Махабхарату, пришел обратно на землю и тут Махарад же Парикшит рассказывал Шрима Бхагаватам в течение семи дней. And when he was and he came out from the womb of his mother when he was sixteen years old. Но когда он вышел из лона своей матери, ему было 16 лет. Но figure that out. Мы это знаем. Мы как бы изучили. That it meant that although Shukadev Goswami was much older, but his body was still like a 16 years old boy. Но в дальнейшем как бы ему было больше лет, но он выглядел на 16 лет. Because because he was an his body was transcendental; it did not change. Потому что его тело было трансцендентным, и оно не менялось. Did not deteriorate. Он не старел. Yes, Prabhu. Is one question? Please. Пожалуйста. Крышки парикшиты с бессмертным принесли. Это как взятка попка получается, чтобы решима пробила там услышать? When Then God gave a pot to Maharaja Parikshit. It was like immortal. Did he could have become immortal? No, it was like nectar. No, взятка по английски. Вот 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 скажи. Вот вот я. Why? I I you speak continue continue the question I will understand I'll try to understand. Um, when demigods uh, came to um, this assembly, Maharaj Parikshit was they gave to Maharaj Parikshit a pot with nectar and to simulta and at that time they want to hear Shrimad Bhagavatam and it was like. Bright, yes, yes. No, the this is this is the question. Yes, this question. Actually, demigods did not understand the value of hearing Shrimad Bhagavatam. На самом деле полубоги не дураки, они понимают, что это очень ценно слушать Шримад Бхагаватам. They compared the nectar of Shrimad Bhagavatam with a pot of nectar which is available in the heavenly planets. Они сравнили нектар Шримад Бхагаватам с нектаром своим с райских планет. By drinking that nectar, Mara, that nectar, one can become immortal, but still you will have to die for sure. Выпив этот нектар, то есть мог стать бессмертным, но все равно ему придется умереть вне всяких сомнений через какое-то время. And by hearing the Bhagavat nectar, by hearing some of the Bhagavat, I mean, in a very short span of time, one can attain the supreme destination, and he can go to the eternal abode of the Lord. Но когда человек пьет нектар Шримад Бхагаватам, он может достичь высшего положения и вернуться в духовный мир уже. Он подсачим станет бессмертным. Because demi demi gods were are also devotees. Полубоги на самом деле тоже преданные. But they are karma mishra devotees. They are selfish, selfish people. Karma mishra, bhakti. They are they are into enjoying their life. Они они любят наслаждаться жизнью. Они кармические. And at the same time they want they want to chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Они иногда не поют Hare Krishna. They want to enjoy the material world. And then also Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Они любят наслаждаться материальным миром, но вместе с тем они поют Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. In the phone, oh, new movie, wow, wow, football match, ooh, who Russia won? Они смотрят в своих телефонах новые футбольные матчи и говорят вот. Oh, Russia defeated. Россия победила или проиграла. So, 
So, so they were, demigods are like that. They're selfish. Because of that, they don't have even qualification to understand the glories of Srimad Bhagavatam. Understanding the glories of Srimad Bhagavatam, it is also a big thing. One cannot, one cannot, Srimad Bhagavatam cannot come to a life of a person unless he has accumulated enough piety in his life. Hmm? One, sh- one should have, one should have uh, enough piety in his life. <laughs> Sukruti. Bhakti Sukruti. Piety means not material piety, Bhakti Sukruti. Bhakti Sukruti is come when one, when one serves a sadhu, a devotee. One should have enough stock of Bhakti Sukruti to understand the glories of Srimad Bhagavatam. So demigods did not have that, did not have that. Hmm. That's why Shukdeva Goswami laughed. So, in this uh, past time, uh, it was shown a price of Srimad Bhagavatam. Is it? Mm-hmm. In this past time, there is shown a price of Srimad Bhagavatam. Price? Srimad Bhagavatam is priceless. Srimad Bhagavatam is the same. We could under, we, with, with our little minds, Mm-hmm. We can understand Srimad Bhagavatam by these glories of Srimad Bhagavatam. This is just a trailer. The whole movie is going to come in the next three days. Mm-hmm. I gave this I, last, uh, when I was in, in January, I was in Bhaktivedanta Manor in the United Kingdom. And there I gave three seminars. One was on Ayati Maharaj, one was on Sudama Charitra, and third was on Gauris of Srimad Bhagavatam. Ayati Maharaj, Sudama Charitra, and then it was Gauris of Srimad Bhagavatam. This is one of my favorite topics. I have spoken this in every country. Almost South, Amer- South America, so many places in Europe, mm-hmm. and uh, in UK and Ish, some of the Asian countries. So wherever I go, along with different different topics, they ask me to speak about Lord Jagannath Bhagavatam. Because this is one of my favorite topics. It is one of the best, one of the best remedies um, and best ways to develop unflinching faith for Shrimad Bhagavatam. So my only request is that come every day. Поэтому моя просьба, пожалуйста, приходите каждый день. Without fail. Без пропусков. And take enough rest in your in in the day so that you can sit here and attentively hear. И пожалуйста, отдохните хорошо, чтобы у вас здесь, чтобы вы могли внимательно слушать здесь. So that you are here in a relaxed mind and you can completely concentrate. Чтобы вы могли полностью сконцентрироваться, у вас был спокойный и сконцентрированный ум. Because this this because he, this hearing this message with rapt attention, the glories of Bhagavatam will will help us develop unflinching faith. Потому что слушание о славе Шримад Бхагаватам позволит нам обрести непоколебимую веру. Okay. Да. And we are also, I have also come here to start Bhagavatam school. We travel everywhere. We, because we have a program wherein, wherein we can start a Bhagavatam school in any community. We do this service absolutely free of cost. We don't charge anything. We train devotees with how to give classes on Bhagavatam. How to study Srimad Bhagavatam in a simple way. And we provide the syllabus to them. And you can start your own Bhagavatam school with the help of your own teachers. Our involvement will be zero. 
our involvement will be zero our involvement is not required uh, not okay. absolutely it is a self sufficient project it is a self sufficient project это полностью самодостаточный проект your own teachers вы сами учитесь our syllabus я помогаю вам and you are you can start your own bhagavatam school in your own community и вы начинаете школу изучения шрима bhagavatam в своём обществе сами уже потом спасибо